with a dramatic gesture. Oh, Fernando. Hi, welcome back to my channel, Austin Parmana Speaks English. I'm an English teacher, MC, and English learner. How are you handling the new normal? I have mixed feelings about this one, you know. On the one hand, I'm excited to see my friends again. I'm excited to be in the crowds again, seeing different faces again. Um, but on the other hand, um, I don't know why, but, I, but I'm a bit uneasy about this new whole situation. I don't know why. I just, I just don't know what to expect, you know. Am I being too lebay? <laughs> oh, lebay! Actually, that's a topic that I'll be doing in this video. So, um, in this video, I'll be giving you five, five, <laughs> five ways to say labai in English. Actually, this topic is inspired by a friend of mine. His name is Arya. So, he was confused with the use of exaggerate and exaggerated. Okay, now you can tell that exaggerate will be one of expression to say labai in English. I will start with the first word labai I learned until the most recent one. The first way to express labai in English is by using this figurative of speech. I learned this word first time, I think, in school. <laughs> so I know that you're going to pronounce this hyperbole, when in fact it's not hyperbole, it's hyperbole. I used to pronounce this hyperbole all the time until I wrote the script for this video. I realized that, oh, it's not hyperbole, it's hyperbole. Mm, okay. Hyperbole, it's a figurative of speech that exaggerate something to be smaller or bigger or worse or more impressive than what it really is. And usually, we will use this kind of language when you feel like um, there's more to convey or when you think that you want to build intensity or urgency. For example, my bags weigh a ton. Well, my bags are heavy, but they don't literally weigh a ton. And you know that during this COVID-19 pandemic, you couldn't see your friends, right? You haven't seen your friends for months. And you know that when you want to express this feeling of missing your friends, you would say, oh my God, I haven't seen you for ages. I haven't seen you for forever. Why do you use this kind of language? Because you think that just by saying, oh, I miss you. We haven't seen each other for three months. You don't think that that really conveys your feeling. You feel like there's more to convey. So that's why you use this figurative of speech, hyperbole. And then uh, another example is when you are starving. Oh God, I'm starving. I could eat a horse. So by saying that I could eat a horse, you want to build this intensity and urgency that hurry up, okay? like. Let's grab a bite to eat because I'm starving. Little did I know that I could use its adjective and verb forms of hyperbole. The adjective form is hyperbolic. And then the verb form is hyperbolize. For example, the headlines are hyperbolic. Don't take them seriously. You know what? Um, you should be careful with him, you know, because he tends to hyperbolize and invent details that aren't there. So just be careful when you hang out with him, okay? The second way to express labai in English is exaggerate. So I think that I learned the word from SSJ or Ganesha operations <laughs> during the national exam uh, preparation. Bear in mind that exaggerate is a verb. So the form will change when the time changes. For example, don't exaggerate, okay? It wasn't that expensive. Or, I'm not exaggerating. It was the worst meal I've ever eaten. 
I don't want to exaggerate, but uh, I think that it was a dangerous situation. The patient exaggerated the pain. So those are examples of exaggerate as a verb. And I've talked about this in my previous video that when you add ed in the end of verb, then the verb can change its function as adjective. And that happens the same with exaggerate. For example, the claim is exaggerated. It is an exaggerated claim. So you will know that it is an adjective when it appears after to be or when it appears before noun. The third one is dramatic. Um, actually, this word has several meanings and you can also use this word to describe Labai's behavior. A kind of Labai behavior that uh, try to get people's attention or impress other people. Or you can also use dramatic when you want to describe someone who is overly expressive, like me. <laughs> Or you can also use dramatic when you want to describe um, someone who overreacts or whines over little things. For example, don't be so dramatic. That's the simplest one. Another example is she puts her hand to her head with a dramatic gesture. Oh, Fernando. Oh. <laughs> And then um, another example is, I honestly don't understand why you're being so dramatic. I was just asking how old you were. Okay, this is the last one. She didn't swipe right you, big deal. Okay, it's not the end of the world. Like there are other millions of girls on Tinder. Don't be so dramatic. Hold on, before we move on to the next word, why don't you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then turn on the notification button. English word for labai number four, overreact. I must have learned this from friends when I used to work in English first, EF. <laughs> Either I heard someone say this to other people or some people said this to me. <laughs> so. Overreact is, you know, when you react too strongly uh, than it's necessary. Uh, for example, like when you see someone cries hysterically after accidentally killing an ant. Yeah, so that's overreact. And overreact is a verb. For examples, my mom is overreacting when I'm telling her that I cannot eat her food because I'm full. She's throwing a walk at me. <laughs> no, that's a lie. No, she wouldn't do that. <laughs> I think I overreacted to their criticism. I shouldn't have yelled at them. The military police overreacted using tear gas, rubber bullets, and excessive force in front of news cameras that spread the images countrywide. I intentionally put this as an example because I want to be able to say this. Last but not least, a word that means alibi in English, extra. So I learned this word just recently from a friend of mine. Her name is Fanny. She is in her early 20s. So it doesn't come to me as a surprise that I learned this word from her. Um, after I knew this word from her, then I saw lots of people using this on social media. Actually, this word means additional, but now it can refer to something that's way too much or something that's over the top. Um, you know, not only something, actually someone. And they are being way too much or over the top for unnecessary reason. Oh, anyway, in this context, extra is an adjective. For example, you know Zara? You don't know Zara. Zara is this girl who made a 30-page assignment when only 10 pages were required. She is being so extra. 
Next one is, I think that you're being so extra when you refused your ex-boyfriend's apology. I mean, I could see that he was being genuine, you know? Next one is, what? You said that you didn't want to eat because there was a cockroach on your food? It's just a cockroach, okay? Stop being so princessy and stop being so extra. So those are five expressions that you can use to express labai in English. If you like this kind of video, please let me know. And if you have anything to say, please just leave your comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and then like the video and also turn on the ring button. I'll see you again next week. Ciao!